Uh, did you talk about the uh, rent house on the la- on the on the episode coming back? Oh no, I'm still. I'm still, I'm uh, 2021. I've been trying to protect my energy. And um, so I, my initial comeback was supposed to be after that cow Rittenhouse thing. Like I was like, yo, and that's actually probably what sparked the flame. The Rittenhouse thing happened. I was like, yo, I got to get back to podcast. I got to talk about this. But then I had so much anger. I was like, nah, I got to protect my energy. I'm going to let that slide. But no, Rittenhouse. Yeah. Go I ahead. mean, okay. Not, not even to delve too deep because obviously man got away with murder. He literally got off with, you know, not even a slap on the wrist. Motherfucker was taking pictures with Trump the next day, which t- tell me what that's about. And, you know, again, we can chalk it up to it being some some racist, affluent shit. But one thing that I love and the reason why I've been mentioning it is that when it came to him wanting to go back to ASU, the students were like, fuck that. Y'all can love pull you, y'all can get away with what you want to get away with. But we're the fucking people talking here. We don't want that motherfucker to be around. Because again, he got away with murder. Imagine, I don't want to drag OJ, but just imagine someone just, bro, again, you're Zimmerman's, bro, throwing him back in the fucking yeah. wild. And he, if he's not the biggest case study of a motherfucker getting away with shit, then, then I yeah. don't know. And I it was one of those up. things, it was one of those things, that's the reason why, again, like, with the with the right. So the Rittenhouse thing happened. And there was a bunch of people where they're like, okay, well, yeah, you know, he got off, but like his life is ruined. He'll never be able to do anything. No, shut the fuck up. He's a fucking celebrity now. He took pictures with Trump. He was just on a podcast a few days ago or whatever, talking about, oh, fuck LeBron or whatever and all that. He's a celebrity now. And the, and the part, and so I even, I'll go as far as saying this. The Cal Rittenhouse thing is more dangerous than the Zimmerman thing. And the reason why I say that is that Zimmerman, who also should have went to jail for murder, Zimmerman was a grown man. Cal Rittenhouse is still a teenager. His brain is still developing. This level of fame for killing someone, I I, I don't wish this on anyone, but I guarantee you there's going to be another incident of violence in his future. What is there's it about when, when a pit bull or a shark gets a taste of blood? Get a taste of blood. He got a taste of blood at too young of an age. And again, and the reason why, and I'll, you know, I'll just kind of, you know, say my, share my thoughts about it or whatever. Again, like the part that was just so nerve wracking and just so frustrating with the whole Cal Rittenhouse thing is that Philando Castile didn't get a chance to get a trial. The man had legally had a gun. His wife got pulled over while they're in the car with their kid in the back seat. They asked the cops asked the questions that they asked. He was like, "Oh yeah, I'm a legal gun owner. I got a gun on me." Oh, what? Do you, oh, what? Bam, he's dead. Tamir Rice didn't get a trial. Tamir Rice, a 12 year old, playing with you know a toy gun, and that was one of the conversations I had going in back to you know conversation. And conversating with my uh, sister-in-law, that was one of the things that like kind of came up or whatever. Uh, we we're talking about that. And it was like, because uh, and again, I'm in this isn't like, you know, judging her or anything like that. Um, like her son, like plays with toy guns or whatever and all that. And like, again, I'm not I'm not ever looking at other people that need to do what, you know, I do or whatever. But that was one of the things that came up is like, that's the privilege you could let your kid play with a toy gun and not be concerned. I got two black kids. I, I don't want them ever playing with toy guns because someone may mistake it for something. And then now I'm on the other side of a tragedy while watching the news and having the whole world say, why well, that's our fault, why that happened. So again, yeah. that's, that's the thing where it's like, and that was one of the conversations my wife had, you know, just kind of bring it up. Like it's situations like that where like just the other side doesn't quite get like, there's other things that we got to worry about. So our, our kids are black. Like we, it's a bunch of stuff we got to worry about that y'all ain't got to worry about over there. Like, <laughs> did you watch the, uh, the Chris Rock special on Netflix? They, uh, he even did a remastered remixed version where he kind of, you know, tambourine one the or tambourine, tambourine man. Yeah. yeah. The, there was an extended cut version that came out and I can't really recall too much of the differences, but I don't know if it was the fact that it wasn't directed by that white co- other comedian, Bill something, uh, or Bo Jangles yeah. or something like that. I, I don't know what it was that made him change it up. But one of the key things that came from both the original and the, the remix was uh, this thing about how he has to raise his black kids harsh to let them know you're not going to fucking have it easy. And how, you know, he, again, I won't go into the, you know, the little techniques that the he used. Bit, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but he, ultimately having to beat, make the kids feel like shit, which again, 
and and you i mean again because we're bringing all this stuff is like you could not only is it not fair right but you're already kind of beating it into someone's psyche that people aren't gonna like you which mm. unfortunately it has to be a conversation that, that you have like the my oldest stepson i kind of the ex doesn't really want me to kind of dabble too much because he is a, of darker skin like i got you know i kind of had to like let him know like bro people are because the white kids picking on him you know what I'm saying? Because you know what I'm saying? He's you know what I'm saying? He's, he's a little bit on the Christmas nope. ad. And I and, and nope. I, I want to tell him, like, yo, some people are gonna hate on this, but one of the arguments of having to bring that up to someone at such a young age, because he's a he's a Kai's age, is like, do you mm. really want him to know that there's an enemy out there? And how do you bring this conversation? Yeah, you know that some people are gonna have that sideways look. For for example, again, Lord forbid your kid ever be in a situation where People, and let's say you, they just they're just just a wrong fucking racist fuck looking at him, and he can either yeah. be mad that because he looks because he knows it for the fact that he's black, or for the fact that yeah. well you mix with the white race, how dare you? You know, the yep. 1960s Louisiana or some shit. You know where that shit would fucking be outlawed. Like, yeah, how, how can you yeah. up? How, how can you raise someone to be precautious and not instill the idea not of the devil? Ruin the innocence. And, and yes. Exactly. And, and that's been one of the things or whatever, like it's been it's been a slow process. Like, I won't say that we've like gone super hard, hard, like we've had conversations. So it's, uh, so I'll say kind of a couple things. So we've had a bit of the conversation about race or whatever with the boys. And it's one of those things where, again, like race is a weird thing. They don't quite understand because they're black and white. Like, OK, like dad looks this way mom looks that way dad's family looks this way mom's family looks that way but then it's also interesting or whatever and it's one of the things that i didn't instill in them or whatever but it's just as they got an older like they you know create themselves on video games or they draw themselves or whatever and it's one of those things where like over time you start to learn how they view themselves and it's interesting because every time they draw themselves or make themselves on video games they're the same skin tone as me and like i never taught that or anything like that to them like they're clearly light skin i got i got two little light skin boys or whatever and all that um and so that's interesting that that is their view of themselves as yeah like i'm i'm dark like I'm, I'm more i'm closer to dad than i am to mom if you will um and the i think the one heavy like heavy not conversation but like heavy race thing that we did or whatever was oh actually it was after the george floyd situation <clears throat> after George George Floyd happened, there was a I think it was a CNN special hosted by Sesame Street Yo. where they talked to the kids about race and we set the kids down and we're like, we're going to watch this together. And they like it was, you know, it they learned a lot from it. And it was actually funny because then after that or whatever, like my youngest or whatever got on his pro black tip and like yeah. you know, Mr. Black Lives Matter, like he has the Black Lives Matter shirt on his NBA 2K thing or whatever, and all that. And actually, and you ain't seen the the boys in forever, or whatever. Kai got his uh hair, he's trying to do dreads like me, so he has his like yeah. little 16 braids coming down, and then Yo. Zay got an afro out to Yo. here. Zay Zay, Zay rocking the afro me since he was little, bro. He reminded me of yeah, yeah. from the boondocks. And I always knew that he was going to be the pro-black one. That's so crazy. You can see that. It's, it's hilarious. And that's exactly like how it panned out or whatever. So, uh, but yeah, so it's one of those things where like, I agree wholeheartedly with you. It's one of those things where it's a conversation and needs to be had. But then how do you have the conversation without taking away their innocence? But then like at some point you need to have the conversation. Cause like one of the things I've mentioned, um, <clears throat> You'll talk to somebody who are like, oh, well, the reason why bad things happen to black people, because you guys have a victim mentality or whatever. And that's the reason why these bad things happen. It's like I didn't have a victim mentality. And it, it's like I didn't have a victim mentality when I was 14 years old. The first time a cop ever aimed a gun at me because I got kicked out of a tech center for one of my other friends being too loud. And they called the cops and the cops came and put guns on me and my homeboy and accused me of being in a gang because my outfit was blue. Um, you know, I, I didn't have a victim mentality when I was 16 and at uh, 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 at the mall or whatever, you know, getting numbers, uh, you know, from girls. And, you know, we're uh, we're trying to see who can pull the most numbers. And my one homeboy, he fat and he 
can't really pull no numbers. So he started hollering at any and old ugly thing that he can. He pulled one cockeyed girl's number or whatever and all that. And then we outside or whatever, we're smoking a black and mouth and we're laughing about it or whatever and all that. He's like, oh, man, I ain't going to call that girl or whatever. You take this number. And he like slide the number in my pocket. I'm like, man, I don't want that number. We laughing or whatever and we come back. And the cop stopped us and tried to arrest us for selling drugs. And it was like, what are you talking like? We're it's changing a girl's number of a chick that was ugly. A victim mentality ain't what um, had another gun put up to my head by a cop because I was driving through a parking lot and a car alarm went off as I drove past it and a cop pulled up and then stopped me and put a gun up to my head and accused me of trying to steal a car. And it's like, how am I trying to steal? I'm in this car. How am I trying to steal this other? Like, what are we talking about? So I say all that to say that it's one of those things where, again, in high school, I got way too many guns pulled on me by cops. And it wasn't a victim mentality. I know shit about racism back then. I ain't know nothing about the left or the right. I didn't know none of this stuff. It's just that's what I experienced growing up in the hood and being black.